Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our Fixed Perspective Scroller RPG. And as you might notice, I am on my Mac right now. So yeah, I needed to buy a Mac because I want to start developing for iOS. And so if you're interested in making like and knowing how to deploy for iOS and how to build a Xcode project and all this stuff, let me know in the comments and I, may, I will make some tutorials for that. I feel a little bit laggy. I don't know if it's because the, the resolution of my screen is higher and I'm recording at full resolution. Uh, but yeah, I feel a little bit laggy. It's just a Mac Mini, uh, so I don't expect too much from it. But let's get to the point of this video. Today we're gonna finish with quests because we're going to fix some bugs uh, one of them was found by Enrique, so thank you Enrique, and uh, we're going to fix that now, man. So, let's do this. So, let's go to the quest manager. No, let me tell you what the bug was first. So, the bug is that... Um, I can get used to this. The bug is that... Well, there's two bugs. Uh, this one, we know it for a long time, we're gonna put it. After a quest is completed, it can be accepted from the quest book. So let's see that now. So I'm going to play, I'm going to take the quest, accept. So you see now I don't have the quest, the accept button. But now if I kill the monster, I kill the monster, I go here, I complete it. Now if I open my my where's my quest book? If I turn on my quest book and I click on my mummies everywhere, you will see that there is uh, the accept button and I don't want to be able to accept this quest again and I will tell you the reason why this happened and notice there is another error here but we're going to talk about that later. So the problem here is that when we set our quest info accept button, uh, that's the accept button in our, in our UI, we're checking for the following. We're checking if that quest is in the active quest. So once we finish the quest, when we once we completed that quest, it's going to pass to the finished quest list and it's no longer going to be in this dictionary. So that means that this statement here will become true again. And therefore, when we see when we show the quest info from the quest book, it's going to show the accept button. So what we could do is add another another boolean here with an AND statement and check if the active quest is in the finished quest. But that will mean that we will have some problems too because maybe we have repeatable quests that we want to be able to accept many times after we finish them. So this is not the correct approach. Actually there is a, there is a problem with this whole approach here and is that the accept button should not be shown from the main show quest info function. It should be shown from the NPC controller because we only can accept quests when we're actually talking to the NPC. So we're going to take this whole thing here and we're going to cut it and we're going to go to that NPC controller. So here, the NPC controller. And the NPC controller already controls the complete quest button. So it only makes sense if we do something similar, which is putting it here and checking for this boolean, the, if the player has the active quest. Because we don't want to accept the quest once it's active. We accept it once until we finished it, right? So you see there is a problem with this quest ID because we can't find a quest ID because this quest ID is actually I, right? Because we are getting each quest ID here from the quest list. So each I is just each ID of each quest. So now that we put that there, we need to make sure that in the inspector here, we make by default the accept button to be off because by default it was always on. I want to set it off so that it's not going to show if we just show the information from our quest book. All right, so now we clear this and we can try. So I play and it's quite laggy. I can I can feel the lack of performance of my Mac Mini. Okay, so now we cannot accept this because because some for some reason oh we didn't save. Sorry, I I always press Control S 
And now that I've changed to a Mac, I need to press Windows S to save. So it's a, uh, it's a little bit... I'm not used to it yet. I, I'm gonna get used to it uh, eventually, but yeah. So we go, we click this, and yeah, it shows accept. So we can accept this quest, and go kill the mummy, kill the mummy. And we go talk to this guy. We complete the quest, and now if we check the quest from the book, we no longer see the accept button. So that's how we fix that bug. Showing the accept and the complete button should be control from the NPC controller. Now we have another bug, and is that uh, we we fixed this one. So this one is okay. We finished it. Now the active quest ID is no after killing monster. That means um, okay, you saw this error here. The given key was not present in the dictionary. So that's a problem with one of our booleans that we set here, um, over here. This is that we check if the monster, we have killed this monster, right? You remember this part? When we know that we have killed that monster, we can actually count the current kills compared to the active quest initial amount of kills. So we were assuming that if we kill the monster from that quest, we assume that we had that quest in the active quests. But that might not be true. Because I can just kill a mummy and then this boolean here is going to become true. Because I actually have killed that monster. Alright? I killed the mummy. But my quest is not in the active quest yet because I haven't accepted from the NPC. So we want to add one more thing here. If player, now, right next to if we have killed that monster, we also want to make sure that we have actually accepted that quest. And we actually can put it in front or behind. It doesn't really matter. Just paste that there. And we use the end to separate those two statements and it's really simple we just uh, we just ask unity to check for player data dot active quest dot contains key you want to check for the key and the key is just quest dot id so we want to check if we have this active quest and then if we have killed that monster or any order you want we only then we're going to calculate this formula because we were trying to access this data, but there's this key is not there. It's not present in that dictionary. So we were we were getting that error. So now we go back to Unity. Oh, and this uh, before I said I run this. So if I go here, you see there is a problem with the quest uh, because I got this null reference exception. The key was not present in the dictionary. You see this just have the default text I had in my UI because there was an error. So, and I died for some reason, <laughs> I don't know why I died. But anyway, now if we play this again, did I say, wait, wait, I always forget to use the correct button, so yeah, I saved. So now, go kill the mummy, kill one mummy, and we come back to these guys, and there's no problem with the quest. Oh, is that still the problem? Um, what is this? Let me see. Just give me a second. This is in line 142. 142 here. Oh, because we're also doing the same thing here. So we also need to check the same thing. But here, instead of doing an AND statement, because here we want to return something if this is not true. So we have to do an OR. So if we don't have that monster killed, OR. We don't have that quest in our dictionary we're going to return false so we do the same we copy this here not, not this one sorry the active quest here copy this and then we just we get the contains key and we ask for that quest id so we check if that quest id is contained within the keys of this dictionary and if it's not or this is not true then we're going to return false so we're never going to run 
this formula and we're not going to get that null reference exception. So let's try this one more time and hopefully it's going to work. So now I am going to kill the mummy here one, two, and I'm going to go back to this guy and there's no errors now because we made sure that we actually had the quest in our active quest before checking and before calculating that formula of the uh, initial amount of kills in a quest okay so that's one important thing to do and now we can accept it and we can actually finish it again and we can talk with this guy again to complete it and if we check the quest from our book we can no longer accept it so that's how we fix the last box we had and now we can move on to the next topic so for the next video i'm just going to do a quick video about the ui it's going to be one video and then we're going to jump to the inventory and i already had a, a video series about inventory but i think we could make a new one basic inventory just something basic one slot one item make the item class and try to do it maybe two to three episodes uh, so we can move along with that and maybe then make it more in detail inventory in a separate series and after we have the inventory of course we'll have items we need to make the item class and we're going to be able to make a shop so it's going to take maybe one video one or two videos and then save and load data we're going to use JSON files to save and load data uh, I don't like using XML personally I think JSONs are more efficient because you don't have a tag at the beginning and a tag at the end. So we're going to use JSON to make this. Maybe it takes one or two videos as well. So yeah, that's how things are going to develop in the coming weeks. And hopefully we can start having an amazing game soon. Although this game is already amazing. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy making these videos. I'm going to start making much more videos now that I have some holidays. And I'm going to keep you guys up to date in my Facebook page and soon in a secondary YouTube channel where I'm going to just like show you random stuff. Uh, yeah, so thank you again and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Peace.